Hello Robocup Asia Pacific, my name is João Fitter and I'm from Brazil. And mine is Vicente Pérez. We are from São Paulo, Brazil and we take part of several World Scene. Our past experiences are based on informatics, mathematics and robotics competitions as Brazilian Mathematics Olympiad, Brazilian Informatics Olympiad and Robocup Brazil Open. Object in the simulator is to collect and deposit objects with our robots. But for that, we have to dodge obstacles and traps. During the code development, we have run into some problems, such as collecting super and super close objects, leaving the map, walking faster in swim lanes, and exploring no signal zones. To solve these problems, we use algorithms as A star. Also, we transformed the map into a two dimensional array. We defined its priority zones for each color, in addition, we saved the coordinates of the objects we didn't collect. The results of these implement implementations was the minimum score of 1,400 points and more than 4 super objects created and collected. Even though we found some bugs during the process, however, the tools we used led us to high scores. Talking about the navigation, we find the nearest object zone, so we calculate how to arrive there by using A star and then generating some random coordinates inside the zone. After, we go to them, so if there is an object, we can collect it. When depositing, we use the A star to find the nearest deposit and basically we go to it. When we face a trap, we avoid it, because the colors that compose it are avoided colors, so we can't pass through them. In order for the world borders avoidance, we basically don't pass through them because our A star path doesn't allow us to do it. For the navigation, we use basically A star with pose smoothing because this ensures our hobbit to make the shortest path. Additionally, a pose smoothing code allows it to make less turns. Also, we build different map for each color. So for each color, we invalidate some zones that don't have points. Also, we sort the parent zones by the distance based on the coordinate we are. So when we sort the parent zones by the distance, we can go to the shortest parent zones, because we have as a base the parent zone we are. As shown on the slide, we create parent zones by overlaying maps in Photoshop. In addition, we transform the map in a two-dimensional array with an algorithm in Python, which allows us to do the A star, then explore the map in the easiest way. So we have to use it C for code or robot. About the robot workflow, for searching the points, we build the nearest part zone according to the remaining points to make our RGB sets. So we calculate the A star to this color zone. And we turn the robot to the next coordinate and define the Wells velocity to 80. We check if the robot is in the final coordinate, so if it's not, we turn the robot to the next coordinate again. Once we have achieved a part colored zone, we go to a random coordinate generated. So if we don't achieve this random coordinate, we turn the robot again to it. Once we have taken the object, we go to the deposit. While the code was being developed, we were facing with problems such as the A star take the orbit to the coordinates the robot is in, trying to rescue the same object twice, and problems find an object in the prior zone. To solve the A star problem, some conditions were not. For the duplicate collection problem, Save the coordinate of the color sensor instead of the robot coordinates when saving the coordinate of an object is enough. But this is a change we will make for the future competitions. We solve the priority zones problem by creating a two dimensional vector for each color, thus, invalidating zones with no objects. Even though our next competitions aren't until next year, we will continue to work on the code to optimize the robot's efficiency as we look for even better results for the future. 
An example of an improvement that we will make in the code is the implementation of a function that returns, using trigonometry, the coordinate of the color sensors. This to avoid the duplicate storage of the coordinate of just one object. Working on the CoSpace platform was a unique experience that taught us a lot, but not just in technical terms. It also taught us a lot about teamwork.